politically, Missouri has always been a pretty complicated place. St. Louis is probably one of the best places to display how complicated of a mess uh, Missouri can be when it comes to all of the different opinions and points of view that all converge in this state. In 1861, Missouri's Governor Claiborne Fox Jackson would proclaim the state officially to be neutral, but in all reality, Claiborne Fox Jackson was putting together a Confederate force uh, that would meet right here on this open field. Well, at the time, it was an open field. Today, it's, of course, St. Louis University. And they would begin to make plans to take over the St. Louis Arsenal. They felt that if they could take over the Arsenal, then they would uh, have the weaponry it would take to kick the Union forces out of Missouri and actually uh, be a formidable force. This would become known as the Jackson Camp Jackson Affair. Union soldiers under the direction of Nathaniel Lyon would come out here and arrest as many Confederates as they could. Their guns were uh, brandished, they arrested people left and right, uh, they marched them through the streets of St. Louis, uh, and it became a circumstance where every Confederate that could escaped and head, headed to uh, Jefferson City and then ultimately to Boonville. It became clear that the Confederate Missouri militia would not have any luck here in the city of St. Louis. By June 17th of 1861, Governor Jackson and his general, Sterling Price, would be forced to face off with the Union forces here in the lowlands of the Missouri River, around five to 10 miles to the west of Boonville, Missouri. The battle would actually be over control of the Missouri River. There would not be a lot of deaths in this battle. It would be a series of engagements and retreats, more engagements and more retreats. By the end of the day, it would be clear that the Confederates would need to retreat to southern Missouri and that the Union had won the day. We're at Wilson's Creek, right outside of Springfield, Missouri. Wilson's Creek is where the southern forces and the northern forces had their first major conflict uh, in Missouri, and quite frankly, one of their last major conflicts of 1861 at least. In this battle, uh, General Lyons of the North is gonna die. Uh, this is gonna make a lot of Missourians very happy. It's gonna make a lot of northerners very sad. They're gonna look at this as hollowed ground uh, because this is where the, the, the Lion of the North passed away. Uh, even though the South will actually technically win this battle, uh, it's not going to matter. It was way too expensive of a win. The Southerners are going to say, forget it, we're going to pull back to Arkansas. Uh, General Price of Missouri is going to say, no, 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 we can still win Missouri. He's going to work his way up to Lexington from here. September of 1861, I'd be standing in a really dangerous place. I'm in Lexington, Missouri, and right here is thought to be where one of the northern barricades used to be that was uh, trying to hold on to the city and the fort that was here at Lexington, Missouri. Now, downhill, down this big hill, General Price and his Confederate forces were pushing their way up the hill and they did that by hiding behind bales of hemp. They would jump out from behind the bale of hemp, take a few shots, get back behind the bale of hemp, push it forward. The method would prove successful, and Price did win the day. The only problem was he did not have the resources to feed his own troops and to arm them and keep the hill. Thus, he did have to retreat anyway. The next time we hear from him will be Pea Ridge, Arkansas in 1862.
Hi, I'm in Pea Ridge, Arkansas. This is the only battle that I'm going to give some coverage to that is outside of the state of Missouri. The reason is, is that after uh, Wilson Creek, after Lexington, General Price is going to have to come all the way down here to northern Arkansas. He's going to join with the Confederate forces, and they're going to try to bash their way back into Missouri, back into southern Missouri, coming up the Telegraph Road. The Telegraph Road goes all the way from here all the way up to Springfield. They think they can make their way up through there. The northerners were going to say, no way. The northerners did lose back at Wilson's Creek, but they're not going to put up with that loss. They start getting tons and tons of troops to join them. And so a massive force is going to come down here, down here into Arkansas, and they're going to have a battle right here, out here on this field.